today you can s shit welcome back to a new video in this video guys we're gonna go over the strategy on how to day trade penny stocks and I also want to review a few penny stocks that I give you I've actually given you this strategy previously guys and I've taught you how to day trade but for some people they wouldn't click on the video just because it doesn't have the correct title so this video is gonna have its own title how to day trade we're gonna go through the strategy we're gonna go through which sector we trade and we're also gonna review a few penny stocks that I've actually gave you to trade Sorry for this interruption. It's a low crime area, but I don't know, they're over exaggerating. So, guys, today what I want to do is I want to show you how to day trade, okay? Just for those of you who are new to this, we trade pharmaceutical penny stocks, and I'm going to go through why we trade pharmaceutical penny stocks, and what is the catalyst, what will move a stock higher or lower. I'm also going to show you a strategy that works. Um, and I'm gonna review a few stocks that I gave you on this channel so if you're new guys I give the guys who are subscribed to this channel uh, stocks on weekly basis on monthly basis for next month or for this month where I tell them to watch out for them so they'll be in the form of a video um, and just let's just cover a few things guys everything I give you here is free and everything I give you here is something that most youtubers or gurus will try to sell you but obviously I want to give it back to you because I want to give back to society but some of you have wanted courses and I said I would never try to sell courses but if you guys want a seminar where I invite you here um, in Ireland, Dublin we can have a seminar, I'll guide a few of you, 40 people or 30 people or so um, into a room and we will go through it uh, basically I'll take your hand and we'll go through it because some people will learn by doing it losing money in the market and learning from their mistakes others will learn by someone teaching them how to do it so it's up to you guys just remember everything I've given you is all you need however some people want to know the strategy want to know uh, how to do it from a mentor I'm here for you guys so let me know in the comments if you want the seminar um, or we can arrange that guys as soon as we hit a specific amount of threshold on this channel so let's begin with why we trade pharmaceutical penny stocks and let's go through the computer and how to trade. The people who are already on this, who are already subscribed, who have already been watching my videos, following my strategies, they know that we trade a specific sector in the market and that is the biopharma sector when it comes to penny stocks. Why? Well, because we can predict exact date they will move up or down in, in prices. Now, yes, there, there is a catalyst behind that and that is the trial. That is the success of a trial. Like I said in many of my videos, if you watch them, they're basically these companies don't have revenue don't have drugs they're in the development stage and in order for them to have a drug or basically develop or even have an fda approved drug they'll need to develop a test or a study to see if that study comes out positive or negative which means if that drug will actually work or not if it comes out positive the stock will spike in value because it's going to attract investors if it comes out negative the stock is going to go down in value because investors are going to pull away they're going to shy away from that stock well because nobody's going to put their money into nothing okay so the whole purpose of the company succeeds if the basically trial comes out positive the whole purpose of the company fails if the trial comes out negative so now that we know that what now well we need a strategy we need a way to get in and out okay we need to find those good crystal clear positive results or negative results okay we can't if it's mixed we stay on the sideline just like i said months ago but if you're new to this guys this is going to be the video that you will need to succeed in this market and like i said guys some people will learn faster than others some people will learn by watching and doing it others will learn by watching and they'll need a mentor to walk them through it i'm here I said I'll never sell you anything, but if you need that mentorship, let me know in the comment section or we can arrange it, guys. Um, so, obviously, guys, we trade biopharma stocks because of that. Uh, we know exactly when it will go up or down in value. Uh, we don't trade any technical indicators. Everything is simplified on this channel, so you guys know already. So, let's go through the few stocks I gave you guys, and I also want to give you a strategy on how, how to day trade. 
Um, and by the way, just keep in mind that I only day trade once a week, guys. So day trading doesn't mean that you have to day trade every day. Day trading means you know, getting in and out on the same day. That's what day trading means. It doesn't mean that you have to do it every day. Just keep that in mind, just so you don't feel the obligation to do it every day. Once you find this good, solid stock, you, you buy it, sell it, get out. You made your one, you know, monthly salary in one trade and you can just find another opportunity next week. So even if a stock comes out with great results, yet you're not confident in that stock, don't buy it, don't go in because you're not confident, follow your gut. Okay, but I'm gonna show you on the computer how that works. Um, but yeah, if you're new to this guys, smash the subscribe button because on this channel it's all about honesty and truth and I try my best to respond to every uh, single comment out there. So let us begin, let's go to the computer and let's talk about it. The stocks that I give you guys are, um, they're biopharm penny stocks. So these are stocks that I've given you previously and few of them spike today few of them release result today but I want to go a few examples so this one we had last week guys where I told you a week before to watch out for it and we spiked from was it here I think Wednesday April yeah so we came from here guys by three dollars gain that's when they released a result or before we begin let's just talk about the strategy so guys Penny stocks, biopharma penny stocks have a catalyst. We can predict the exact date they will spike in value. We don't use technical analysis or technical indicators, but what we use is uh, fundamentals. So this is a website I gave you guys where I take my stocks that I give you and basically announce it to you guys. Um, and you can see, I'll have this in the description where you can find the dates when they will release results on their website. That's the company's website. It's not going to be on this website, but the company's website. So let's say TSRO. You go on TSRO's website to find out the result. Um, so once we find the result, guys, we go on to the website. Let's see. So, for example, TSRO or ELGR. Um, ELGR. Or is that I? I'm not sure. It's I, I think. Yeah, okay, so there's a spike coming here as well. But let's talk about these stocks. These are just fresh. This is today, this is today, and this was last week, okay? This was last week. So what happened here, they released a positive result, okay? And it spiked in value. So you have to take your profit pre-market or during the market opens, guys, at the end of the market, you take your profit, you get out. Okay, but if you want to hold on, depends, then you hold on. Okay, and you can see that this stock has, has basically was extended for three days. Today is 2%, 2, 2 almost 3% up to $13. So that's $3 gains, guys, in the space of three days. That's SELB, okay? Now, MNOV, guys, they also released a result, a positive result, and it spiked on value. Okay, pre-market, however, it dropped back down, and the reason, well, there's two reasons behind that. One of the, it, one of the reasons is that it found resistance, guys. You can see that, the, you know, it hasn't hit $14 in a while, and when a stock hits $14, that's going to find resistance. Traders are going to short it. That's one reason. The other reason, well, is because it's releasing another result in the coming few days, so that could spike the price higher if it does succeed in that in that uh, result if that result comes out positive so that is the reason behind mnov and i gave you that basically last week cycc that was today well guys remember if it's not crystal clear do not go near it so if the, if the result is not cl crystal clear do not go near it however it's only beginning but when you have a stock that has been basically destroyed whatever result that comes out guys if it's not 100% crystal clear and positive it won't go up on value but hopefully this could reverse soon or it will follow MNOV's uh, price movement so I don't trade these kind of stocks guys well you know these these two I stayed away from them however SELB I did go in um, so it's only it's your choice now I've given you the strategy I've given you a way to trade you have to feel the market understand the market and that's why these seminars are here for you guys if you want them 
uh, to teach you more and you'll learn more on your own by doing it guys so just keep that in mind um dvax that is another one basically that released a good result today but it spiked pre-market and obviously it has to pull back so you can see the spike pre-market we spike by 13 dollars 13 percent you know so if you have bought 200 shares or 100 or a thousand shares of these um you'll be you know 2600 up in one day and it pulled back it has to pull back so pre-market has to pull pre-market will spike if the result is good and when the market opens it will basically pull back so it all depends on the day it all depends on what kind of stock so you can see this is not a penny stock this is established so this stock should go up guys and follow this same trend here okay so watch out for that stock in the coming days also and why did it spike well just like i said 14 percent on promising cancer conference data so they released um conference basically where they talked about how great the result was and all you have to see guys is an article like this once an article like this is released about a specific company there's only one way one way for the stock and that's either whatever it says here if it says positive here or promising means positive but if it says promising or positive then that stock is going to go up in value but even though it did say um it's positive here it's still pulled back because that's the way things go it has to pull back after every spike it has to pull back pre-market you, you know you, you, there's a lot of traders that jump in and then they pump they pump it up and then they dump it as soon as the market opens and that's the way things work in this market guys so just keep feeling the market see how it is um, and then you'll you'll become profitable on a consistent basis so it's really simple guys there is nothing to it um I've showed you this strategy so many times, I've explained this so many times, and I know some of you want me to day trade for you, but I just can't day trade for you guys, because like I said, when you flex, when you show off, you end up losing money, and that's just something that I hold dearly to my heart, and that's just a discipline. I've done it before, I've day traded for you guys before, and you know, I've made some money for you guys, but go check how I do it, guys, in and out, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I take it, I take my profits and I walk away, and that's trading, you know, earning reports, high cap stocks, but um, go check it out, guys, go check out the videos, old videos, three months old, uh, check them out, check how I do things, and you'll understand that's how I day trade with these, I use the same strategy in and out, as soon as I take my profit, I scale it, and I get out, and that's all it is, guys, when it comes to uh, penny stock so for some people they want to know where do I find the results well let's say you want to go MNOV you go MNOV website okay and then we search it will be investors relation press release positive results from interim analysis phase 2 trial so that's interim analysis guys okay so that's not, this is not the final so interim analysis means basically before the final analysis so that's that could be a reason why the stock pulled back after a spike is because it wasn't the final one guys watch out for the final it could come in the few common days um, you have the website do the work I can't do it for you guys you have to put in the work put in the effort in order to be successful So here we have, if this was the final analysis, but this, but unfortunately it is in term. However, it did spike and pulled back. Um, so that was April 13th. So we basically just read it, guys, and positive result. As soon as you see positive re result, um, which is here, then you know where, where to go. You jump in, you buy the stock instead of shorting the stock because it's positive. It came out with a positive result, which means the stock is going to go up in value. And that's exactly what happened. The stock went up in value pre-market and traders dumped everything. So that is the whole thing to these biopharma penny stocks. I'll leave the links in the description so you can have a look um, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So that is all I want to say in this video guys, if you enjoyed this you know what to do, I wanted to kind of walk you through the step 
um, so you understand how this works. So remember guys, day trading does not mean that you have to day trade every day. Once a week, find a good stock to jump into. Jump in, take your money, get out. If you lose, keep your losses to a minimum, okay? Because losing is part of the game. So take your losses short. There's another opportunity in the market. Nobody wants to lose money, okay? Nobody enjoys losing money, but it has to be done. You have to take small losses. When, you, when the stock goes against you, just keep in mind. Um, so, guys, have your capital ready. Calculate your risk, calculate your position. Go in with 100 shares. Even though you have more, you can afford more shares. Keep it calculated, okay? Keep a calculated loss. This is how much you're willing to lose. If the stock goes against you by $1.50, that's how much you're willing to take or lose, okay? But if the stock goes up, then you can add more to your positions. All I wanna say, guys, you know what to do if you enjoyed this video. Smash the like, the comment. Let me know if you want those seminars and we'll hold them here in Dublin, guys. And also, well, the subscribe if you're new to this. So I'll see you again for another video, guys, just like always.